then you have uh, summarized uh, and the various dimensions of peace. Um, what I would like to do is following on from the previous discussion is to place uh, peace in the context of sustainable development. And of course, we when we talk about the SDGs, and we have talked about a lot today, we talk about the five Ps. And the first P is, of course, people, the centrality of people. And by that, we don't, need, we don't mean the people in a global collective sense. Of course, that is there. But we also uh, mean the individual uh, right down to the local level. So I think uh, you know, the centrality of people in the whole SDG agenda is something that needs to be emphasized. And then we have the concept, the second P of uh, peace. And we know that there can be no sustainable development without peace and vice versa. So that is also uh, something which is uh, we all know. Uh, peace is also a prerequisite for prosperity. Uh, so that is the third P. And uh, that prosperity, if it's to be sustainable, we have to be within planetary boundaries. The fourth P is planet. And of course, the fifth P is uh, partnership, uh, which uh, we know is also very important. So, I mean, if we look at it in that context, and uh, it was, of course, a very bold, a very uh, uh, a uh, powerful vision, uh, leaving no one behind in 2015. And as Mr. Ketan Patel mentioned earlier, uh, the SDGs, in fact, are in serious trouble. Uh, there's been a recent report from uh, SCAP uh, where we are talking about, uh, you know, uh, we, it will take us till 2068 for the SDGs to be realized. And uh, there is, um, there is uh, stagnation across the goals. And in some cases, there is regression. So this is something which is uh, extremely worrying. Uh, when we talk about peace, we know that you know peace has also various elements: uh, peace uh, uh, keeping, peace making, peace building. You know these are all uh, various dimensions that uh, come into play. And we also know that generally uh, peace has been uh, under recognized, it has been under prioritized, and it has been under resourced. We know how much resources are available for uh, armaments, uh, for raging wars. And even if you look at something like climate change, the money isn't uh, simply there. Uh, the uh, funding deficit when we started the SDGs in 2015 was $2.4 billion, and that has gone up. And I know some of us talk about COVID and conflicts, but we were never on track in terms of meeting our funding obligations, even before these things had come in. So this whole idea of peace holding together, you know, on the one hand, human security and on the other, sustainable development is absolutely critical. But it has to be considered in that uh, holistic context. Um, and so uh, the, the last point that I would like to make, and I'm going through this very quickly because there is another engagement that I have to go to, is that, you know, peace is not perfect uh, because it is something, it's an aspiration. It's something that we constantly strive for. Uh, but we would much rather have imperfect peace than war. Uh, 